Thank you. You got some nice eyebrows, some pretty eyes. You feel me? And a lot of them ain't getting fucked. You got a whole baby, girl. <laughs> <laughs> thank you I really appreciate that but that's that stuff like doing that as a young girl like I really did feel some type of way you know what I'm saying but as me getting older and having kids you know what I'm saying like forget all that you know what I'm saying the black of the berry the sweet of the juice you know right like you know what I'm saying just love yourself that's what's important yes thank and you for coming on here showing me you and your baby y'all beautiful Thank you. Period. I appreciate you accepting me because I've been trying to request you for the longest. What? I ain't know. It. I'm sorry. That's okay. And I do love you, bro. And loving hip hop. You gonna be on loving hip hop this 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 season? Cause I will be tuning in. I'm hoping so. <laughs> okay, girl. You enjoy your day and stay blessed. You too, my love. See you soon. She's our sweetheart, baby. That cute. I had a good time with her and them. That was cute. Um, baby, what's wrong with you? You having a bad day? Everything you're saying about somebody else, I think is. Oh uh, <laughs> God, no! Can I say something? No. What do you want? No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh. I don't know. I'm trying to add this other girl. She ain't coming in, girl. This shit, my goddamn neck hurt. These comments are disgusting, but I can't even see. Um, hey. Yeah. Oh, good morning. Good morning. How you doing today? I'm all right, Shekana. I am. Um, I've been enjoying the conversation, and I mm -hmm. think what you said is true. I think what we need in our community. And just I ain't mean to cut you out, but can, I, can you send me those glasses? Yes, honey. It's now I'm serious. I need our glasses. <laughs> I got you. I got you. See our way. They got a website in New York and Washington. Now nah, I want you to send me yours. You want mine? I got some. I got some new ones coming. I will. Send nah, I want them. I got you. I will send you to you. All right, you box. <laughs> <laughs> I love the glasses you got on. They are so cute and elegant. Thank you, thank you, thank yes, you. Yes, how you doing, my sister? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. It's a, it's a new year. But I think what you were saying was true. At right. the end of the day, we have to show love. And I think it starts It starts in our communities, like where we work, where we live, and where we go to church. Um, just pressing it start inside of us. It starts inside of us. It starts inside of our hearts. Absolutely. I think. I think it started really in your spirit because for me, you know, one thing about me that made me love the Bible because the Bible say do unto others as you want to be treated. That's right. But so I know if I'm kicking you, I'm hurting you.
you, that ain't feeling good. But I know if I can hug you and love on you, that's a good feeling. That feels good for me. Right. So it's like, you know, I, that's why, you know, you always see me say I'm going to call the police because I don't believe in hitting people and shit like that. I don't want to hurt nobody. Me. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so for me, it's like, you know, you feel love. You know what love is. And that's what you want to feel, you know. Exactly. But it's not inside of you. Like, even if you was a child who didn't get love when you were growing up, you know, when you grow up and you feel like you know, what love is, you get it. Girl, let me tell you something. It's my panel, bitch. And if you keep talking, you'll be blocked, okay? <laughs> you heard what I just said tonight. You gonna take me there? You wanna go there? Y'all ready to go there? You ready to see me go another way? What's going on? They not ready. Right now. Don't they ain't like they finna go there. They be in these comments. They just be, uh, uh, uh. And when you add a bitch, you, uh, uh, uh. They ain't She's trying to get on the line. She ain't got nothing to say. The bitch go left. We vibing. <laughs> let me help y'all hoes. Guess what? I'm so sick of these motherfucking comments. Watch this. Block. <laughs> Now, girl, how you doing, girl? Let's get a side conversation, girl. <laughs> Their opinions don't mean know what you were saying, sister. <laughs> uh, this is this is a good, this is a good question, and it, it needs to be had, right? People who don't know how to love themselves, what's your advice for them? Like, how do you start? How do you learn to love yourself? Maybe if you didn't receive it, I know what I would say. What would you say? You want me to go first? Or you want to go first? I don't mind. You can go first. Or huh? I can go first. You, you can go first. No, you, so I can go first. It don't matter. I'll let you go first. You tell your reason. Okay. okay. So, so I'm, I'm a Christian, and everybody isn't a Christian. But right. I, as, as you find God, you find who you are. As you find your purpose, purpose in Christ, you find your purpose in life. Some people don't believe in God. You know, they get into other things. So maybe that works for them. But that's the only advice I would have. That's the only thing I would suggest. Say it again, because it was so strong. Say it again. As you find Christ, you find your purpose. You know what I'm saying? In, in life. As you learn to know who Christ is, you learn how to love yourself. You learn what he has for you and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. right. I believe it. And I also feel like when you start getting more into Christ, you know what I'm saying, you become more into yourself. Absolutely. And when you become more into yourself, it's able to say, hey, you know, certain things I'm not going for. As far as a relationship, as far as somebody, how they treat you, you start learning what your worth is. Yep. And it don't mean that I hate you. I'm not dealing with you. I just don't think that, you know what I'm saying, this person may be worthy of my time right now. I have exactly. to visit back with you at another time when your spirit can make my spirit feel good, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly right. I don't know. I mean, it is, I think that's really it. And you don't even have to bring race into it. But, I mean, with black people, well, you know, it's a lot of hatred towards us all over the world, not just in here in America, but even more so, we have to show love towards each other. But you can and, and, and I feel I strongly feel like when you speak about a generational curse, that generational curse is speaking about right like if he's African and he, my, 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 he's black. Yep. Because if you think about it, shit, everybody has generational curses, but we got a bunch of them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? From, from slavery. Because you know it's a generational curse because people still feel like they enslaved. They live, they been they was a slave. Exactly. It's something you, wrong you with that. You ain't never picked no cotton. Your ass ain't never been beat with a whelp. How in the hell do you keep digging up all the gun and you ain't exactly. never know what it feels like to be a damn slave? Exactly. Exactly. People don't realize that's exactly true, man. You you know you ain't never been a slave, so stop thinking like that. So stop using that as your fucking excuse, dog. Absolutely. Stop using, oh, I'm fucked up because of this. I'm fucked up because of that. And get out here and try to do something. Guess what? God gave all of us a brain. He gave all of us some eyes. He gave all of us a nose, some ears. He gave us this shit for a reason. Exactly. Who could, who invented the light? God. Like, who, who, right? who, a who, man did it, but God gave him the insight to do it. God gave him the insight, but he gave him the insight because the man wanted it. Exactly right. He the man the wanted it. Yep. Yep. It stops with us. It just all goes back. To oh, man. 100%. If you believe in your hustle and your strive enough, whatever it is, if you want it and you believe it, it will happen. It will happen. Yeah. But if you steady be sitting back to my, oh, I ain't good enough. Oh, this ain't gonna work. You right, baby. It ain't gonna work. Because mm -hmm. you done spoke all this shit over yourself. Exactly. Oh, she look better than me. You right. She gonna continue to look better than you because your dumb ass keep talking about she look better than exactly. you. Exactly. Worry about yourself. Why you even <laughs> worry about how she looks better in comparison to you, right? And the word tells us that. Don't compare yourself by yourself. Amen. So just, you know, everything that we have a problem with or that we focus on incorrectly, if we stick in the word, it'll guide us right back. 
Let's get on this thing called jealousy. Let's talk about it. It's it's deep, sis. Oh my no, god. No, God just told me to ask you talk to you. Come on. Let's get into this thing about jealousy. Let's talk to our people about it. Let's get into it. Jealousy. Jealousy is what? The the root of it is it's a murdering spirit. Whoa! The root, the root of it. Mm. Mm. Would mm. you agree? The root of it is a murdering spirit. Mm. Mm. Girl, you know you said a mouthful. That's, the word. That's scripture. Jealousy is a murdering spirit. Let's break it down. Why? When and what? Let's get into it. From what aspect? Like from like success and career or like personal and looks. Let's take this shit all the way back anything. to when you're 13 or 14 years old and you mad because this girl got a motherfucking pair of shoes on and you ain't got the pair of shoes on. Let's take it all the way back that that young. Yeah, I mean, I mm. think I think it starts with it starts with them, right? Maybe your parents can't afford that name brand shoe, right? Mm -hmm. or, or 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 maybe um you know you, whoever you whoever your guardian can't afford that. So now you're jealous and you're mad at someone else who has those shoes. What, what are you going to do? How are you going to enact that jealousy? Are now, you going to then become let's... a disrespectful, hateful child towards your, your guardian? Or are you going to become a bully? Are you going to um, try to step on, on that person's shoes? Are you going to try to talk negative about it? Are you going to try to jump her, steal her shoes? You know what I'm saying? It just, it, it manifests itself in so many different ways. Well, for real, for real. Maybe it's not your time in life right now. Maybe that's if that's what your parent can't afford, that's not meant for you. But wait a you minute, know? let's rewind. But what about if your parent got a roof over your head? What mm -hmm. about if you got water on? What about if your parent got a home cooked meal every day for you? You know? Exactly. And she may not have none of that. She may just have those shoes. And she might not have none of that. She might just have on some shoes. Yeah. Her mama might be out being um being being with Paul and she don't never get to see her mama. Her mama know how to do his by her shoes. Her mama ain't cooking the meal at home for her and showing her the love she need. But you sitting up here and let jealousy come on you about about a pair of shoes. Yeah, and that just turns your your everything. It 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 it, 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 it turns into a number of things. Amen. And, um, jealousy, jealousy, y'all is a murdering spirit. If y'all don't write this down, this lady just said, this lady just said the realest thing ever and broke it down so simple where you can understand. Having jealousy of other people and the things that they have is a murdering spirit. It murders you in the inside. It murders you mentally and it murders your heart. You see? Because that's what makes you have anger against people for nothing. Mm -hmm. First, it's the jealous spirit. And then it's the anger that come up against the jealous spirit. Exactly. See? I don't want what nobody else have in life. I want what God got for me. Come on. I want what he got for me. I don't want what she got. She don't want what I got. I don't want what they got. I want what he got for me. So therefore, I ain't got no reason to be sitting up and mad about how big nobody's house is or what kind of car nobody drive or, you know, how they dressing every day or what kind of jewelry they have because I want what God got for me. Exactly. Exactly. And to be truthful with y'all, some of that shit don't even excite y'all. Y'all just do it because of what others may say and feel. Exactly. <laughs> nah. A lot of this shit don't excite you. I done had so much jewelry and all this shit. I don't even wear this shit. Ain't that crazy? Because it don't fulfill nothing in you, right? It don't do nothing. Like I mean, it just be like, whatever. Like, guess what? I don't even like carrying pocketbooks, girl. Wow. And I'm a full girl, but I hate a pocketbook. That <laughs> shit on my shoulder. Get on my goddamn nerve. <laughs> it gets on my nerve. I don't know if nobody else feel like that, but I don't like purses like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just don't. I prefer me a little cute little book bag. Throw it on my back. Keep going. Exactly. I just ain't into pocket was like that. A, a cross bag. I like cross bags, but I don't like purses that I have to hold on my shoulder. And you know uh, something you just said is so true, and I can't relate to it, but you can, because you're in a different ta tax bracket. You just said you don't have jewelry and all types of wealth or whatever, and, and you don't even care for it no more. It don't. It don't satisfy. I really didn't care for it like that. that. Then it was just something to do, like you know. Yeah. And did you know it's against God? Like, if you really get into it, girl, and it's crazy. It is. But you know, God. oh, my God. When you really get into it, girl, you know we don't even supposed to be wearing jewelry, girl. Facts. I'm already here. Girl, we don't supposed to wear it. Like, this neck is out of my neck. I was supposed to have this shit on. Eerie. We don't supposed to be wearing none of that shit, girl. I know. I know. 
I don't even really get into it. We don't supposed to tattoo our body. It's just so much stuff. Oh, yeah. On my way to heaven, I'm just gonna be telling God, God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. God, I am sorry. Yeah. I, 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 I gotta tell him sorry so much because there's so much shit out of girl. Mm. You know, I used I used to wear jewelry. I got tattoos. You know, I knew it was. A I mean, I'ma still. I, I I got to stop back. I'ma still with my little jewelry right now. I'm not saying I'm taking it out. I'm just saying when you get into the word and you start finding out what's in that book, it's so deep. But you it's may so grow, deep. You may grow to come to that place though. When I'm gonna grow to come to that you place. Know? I'm gonna get there, but it's so deep that Jesus came in and stood for us. That's what I'm saying, y'all. Yeah. I'm saying that to say. It's a blessing that Jesus came and stood for us. That's what I was saying about the jury and the stuff I done did. Because what the hell we would do if Jesus didn't come? <laughs> Thank you, Man, y'all don't know because God don't play. And we can't keep running to Jesus and using Jesus for everything, you know. That's but it's just a blessing that God sent Jesus. That's true. Absolutely. It's a blessing that he sent Jesus. And I want y'all to start work on something for me. Stop being jealous of what somebody else got. Stop wanting what somebody else has. Create your own vision in your mind and you go after that. Yes. You go fall down and you ask God, God, what is for me? You know, stuff that be for you is something you've been wanting to do all your life. Like me, when I was a little girl, four and five years old, I knew I was going to do hell. I wanted to do hell because I've been playing with that shit since I was four or five. I used to curl my damn dog hair. That's beautiful. <laughs> Burnt my leg trying to goddamn press out the damn dog hair. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I did all my barber doll. I didn't want to play with the barber doll. I just wanted to do the hell. Give a damn about playing with them. Because they weren't real. They didn't talk. But I just wanted to do the hell. So that's something I've been wanting to do since I was a child. And I always didn't thought I was going to be on TV since I was a damn child because I was always outspoken. And when did I thought it, everybody else used to think it. They used to be like, God damn, this girl. What the hell? She's so. I just was ahead of my time. Put it like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. But I want y'all to work on them jealous spirits because when you start working on jealous spirit, Envy will not come up in your mind either. That's right. So you can kill jealousy. You can kill envy. You really preaching though, for real, for real. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just yes, talking. It's facts. Listen, y'all. If you can kill jealousy, you can kill envy. And if you can kill them too, that opens up that heart. Mm -hmm. It opens the heart up just a little bit more. Oh. Envy and jealousy is bad. Men, y'all, men out there. Y'all be envying, jealous, jealous of your woman. You be jealous and envy of other Ooh. men. Yes. Men can be yeah, jealous. Yeah, men be women. jealous of their women, man. You might come home and your girl got her hair done instead of telling her she look good. Now you be telling her, oh, you think you all that now. Right. Nigga, right. just say the bitch look good. You ain't got to be <laughs> getting with She thinks she all that. That shit is questionable. <laughs> it's making you want, like, what? <laughs> you know your girl look good instead of you saying, yeah, you look good, baby. Oh. You think you all that, don't you? All right, where you going? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's the bullshit on the other side. So even with men in relationships with your women and women, you in relationship with y'all men, some of y'all women be the same way. Man, mm -hmm. been the one that got a haircut. You like, oh, nigga, you think you a nigga. It's just that say, you look good, babe. You know, it's just stuff we got to start breaking down mm -hmm. in the midst. Like, before it start rising, you got to stop it. Mm -hmm. And you stop it in your mind. Yes. Yes. When it come to your mind, it's not a good thought. You know, and it, it's it's not a good thought. You know, but you have to say something. And I fall short of this, but you have to say, "I rebuke it." That's right. Some come up in your mind that's evil. Like somebody come up in your mind, like I want to kill this bitch. You better, you better rebuke it all day. Oh, you better you. rebuke that shit because if your stupid ass don't rebuke that shit, you gonna be a spoke that shit up. You gonna be a kill that bitch, and then you in jail. That bitch is dead. Yep. And your whole life, you know, I don't know what you're going to be, but all you're going to be looking at is the same thing you are. Right. I want to look at me some dick. <laughs> I don't want to look at no bitch. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not going okay. to just to sit here looking at no woman for the rest of my life. I, hey, I, girl. It was nice talking How with you. How you doing? Where you at? You back in Atlanta? Okay. Shekinah. Yeah, early in the morning gonna be good for me. We can leak in the morning early. Yeah. Cause I gotta do orders. I got a lot of orders I need to come knock them out. Uh, probably about 10. But I can call you.
So it's kind of 